Hello everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at the new emoji panel and the improved touch keyboard coming in future releases of Windows 10. Microsoft seems to be working on a new emoji panel that combines the clipboard history and support for GIFs. The new feature appears inside of Windows 10 build 2185 available through the dev channel but it's not enabled by default. The new interface uses fluent design elements such as blur and transparency as you can see and the panel. Also, since the clipboard now is integrated into the experience, it means that you can open the emoji panel using the Windows key plus semicolon or the Windows key plus V keyboard shortcuts. When you first open the experience, you will arrive to your most recent emojis, GIF, Kemojis, and symbols. You also notice that the emoji icons are larger with the new interface. In addition, you will also find a new search box to make it easier to find the elements that you want to use. With this new interface, we also get a dedicated section to find GIF images, which are pulled from the web. You can see the trending, the trending GIFs, you want recents, and you can also browse through categories that are listed at the top. And there is also a section so you can access your clipboard history with a convenient option to clear all your history. The experience also expands to the touch keyboard, which you will also find that it has been improved over the previous version. You will see a slightly different interface with keys using around the corners and a net bar that makes it easier to drag the keyboard around with mouse or touch. Actually, this is the same keyboard experience that Microsoft has been working on on its Windows 10X variant of the operating system. Same as before, you will still have access to, to the options to change the different layouts for the uh, keyboard. And you can also, like before, attach the keyboard to the bottom. If you happen to be running Windows 10 build 2185. I will be leaving a link in the video description with the steps to activate the experience right now. In addition to the emoji panel and the touch keyboard improvements, the company has also been working on a new start menu design that introduces styles that reduces the color of the blocks using transparency to match the menu color scheme that should help to make it easier to scan and find the apps quickly. The new start menu is available now on the latest preview for version 20H2 coming later this year. If you're already running version 2004, you can activate the experience right now. And I will be leaving a link in the video description so you can enable and try it on your computer. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.